a second health care worker at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital has preliminarily tested positive for Ebola. These tests will be double confirmed by the CDC um, uh, in, the, in, the, in the, the, the next few uh, minutes. Uh, like, like Nina Pham, this is a heroic person. Uh, I'm sorry, I said like Nina Fan, this is a heroic person, a person who dedicated her life and has, is dedicating her life to helping others and is a servant leader. Uh, this is a person with their life uh, before them and a person who is dealing with this um, diagnosis with the grit and grace and determination uh, that Nina has dealt uh, with the diagnosis. And like Nina, the protocol to uh, find uh, the virus uh, worked uh, well in that within 90 minutes of her temperature, of taking her temperature, um, she was in isolation uh, in the hospital. And, and we hope that and, and pray that, like Nina, uh, she will, will um, get on a good, a good track. As you know, Nina has um, moved from stable to good, and the doctor may have some, some information on her uh, uh, health when he speaks uh, this morning. So the fight against Ebola in Dallas uh, is a two-front fight now. We have 48 disease contacts that we focused on in the community that were contacts with Eric Duncan. The good news about those 48 people is they are asymptomatic and have no fever, and we are at the tail end of their monitoring period. Sunday will mark the end of that monitoring period, and the chance of those people uh, becoming symptomatic at this point or getting the Ebola virus is extremely remote. However, at the, at the hospital, we have a, a situation involving 77 people, two of which have tested positive for Ebola. We, we um, are, are preparing contingencies for more, and that is a very real possibility. You can imagine the, the anxiety of the families of these 77 people. You, you can, can imagine uh, the gut shot that this is to the family that is Presbyterian, a hospital that has done a great job of taking care of this community for many, many years. Um, I, I hope this community will, will uh, rally around the human beings that are, are suffering and worrying now even as they go about uh, their calling of serving others.